nice uh, giving me the obstacle course on the way up to the fucking stage here. That was awesome. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty nervous here. Uh, my set ends with me shitting my pants and running off the stage. Uh, sorry about that. You just made me uh, pretend it was an art piece or something like it represents our fucking childhood or something to that effect. Uh, I'm just gonna talk really fast and then run away. Uh, <laughs> Notes. <laughs> <laughs> it's good, Dan. You got me three seconds to check your notes. Good fucking job. Yeah, I'm going to feature in this. You can tell I'm nervous because I get bloated when I'm nervous, so... <laughs> yeah! <laughs> it sucks that my boss gave me that joke. I wouldn't even mind. <laughs> Uh, it's all right. Just remember, man. They're, they're just as scared of you as you are them. <laughs> so for this lady, because I'm a fawner. <laughs> right. So we're in Middletown, New York. That's great. Uh, right down the road over here is Orange County Community College. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> um, I, uh, in the year 2000, uh, I made history in the De Marino household. I became the first guy to ever uh, become a uh, college uh, dropout. <laughs> uh, and, uh, it's good. And it's, it's, uh, it don't clap to it. I did it again in 2002, and then uh, it went through, and then uh, I went up to the Newburgh extension, did it in 06. And, uh, then I got smart. Then I got smart. I went online, did the online courses, <laughs> dropped out there, saved all the commute money. It was great. Perfect. <laughs> So yeah, I am trembling. Um, I think my friends came out here to support me. Figure they can come out here and never have to do it again. It's nice. Um, got my jokes again. <laughs> Not the first time. Don't worry now. The next time I'll do it. Oh yeah. Um, uh, my name is Dan DiMarino, so try not to confuse me with NFL football great Dan Marino. There are a few subtle differences between us. Yeah. I'm not gonna jump, and I'm not gonna get into every subtle difference. But you know, one of us tried Nutrisystem to success, and it wasn't it was, it was me. It was him. Um, yeah. I uh, cut my hair for tonight, that was another one. I call this option two. <laughs> I have, uh, I have uh, Ben Franklin and escaped mental patient. That's my two, that's my two haircuts I can do. And that, that's, uh, I got sick of answering questions about the declaration. Uh, you, you just tie the key to the string and you put on the kite and it's good fucking. Uh, I forgot my jokes again. Uh, I'm doing this because uh, I uh, am getting older to me. This is older to me. To some of you, this is baby, but to me, this is uh, 28. I know I look 46, but I uh, decided that maybe if I uh, just went with middle age from 23, you know, for the next 40 fucking years, I wouldn't, you know, disappoint anyone in a relationship by, you know, looking older. You know, I figure I'll just ride this out to old or dead. Uh, one of those two will be next. Uh, you know, but, I, you know, I know I'm, I'm uh, yeah, I got friends who are all like, getting married and stuff. It's kind of weird, you know, they're all like, getting ready, like, like, man, I'm gonna say I do, and I'm getting ready to say I do, and I'm like, uh, you know, I'm just waiting for the drunk chick at the end of the party to be like, eh, fucking you'll do, all right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm do that. Yeah. I know I'm, uh, I know I'm a big guy, I know I gotta, like, lose some weight or some shit so I can hit 40 or something. Uh, you know, so I've been trying to, like, kind of, like, you know, you know, they say there's only one way to really, you know, lose weight, which is, you know, to sue McDonald's, I guess. Or, uh, that's what I've seen bad people doing, so I tried that, but that didn't work. So, what I'm doing now is uh, they're telling you to eat healthy and exercise. That sucks. Uh, so I did that, and I went to the healthy section of the grocery store, which sucks, because you go in the grocery store and there's all the good shit, and you just got to walk on past all of it and ignore it, and it isn't there. And then you got to go to the section I'm not supposed to be in, and I just 
wander into that section and people are just staring at me and their record scratches and women are grabbing their children and running out of there and I'm like picking through bananas trying to see if anybody's got chocolate in them. Guy next to me looks like he jogged to the fucking supermarket and he's just staring at me like if I brush against him I'll catch a bad case of the fat or some shit. <laughs> Fuck, someone's called me, yeah, what's this all about? Um, I, uh, so, you know, uh, now I'm eating the healthy food, which is great, uh, because, you know, when you're, uh, when you're fat, uh, anyone who's fat here, you know who you are, uh, knows that um, uh, you're either on a diet at all times, or you tell your skinny friends you're on a diet at all times, so they will leave you the fuck alone. Because they always want you to better yourself. But you know it's better if you go away. <laughs> go away, leave me with my delicious foods and television. Uh, so let's see, uh, we eat the healthy food, so then we have to go to the gym. I love the gym. I hate the gym. The gym sucks. All right, I don't have to wear real pants at the gym, that's neat. But then I go into the gym and I walk in the front door and I'm like, oh, I'm gonna work out. And then the 62 people have just used me as motivation. Continue working out harder. skinny friends. Go with your fat friends because they want to quit and eat pizza just like you do. <laughs> your skinny friends don't understand that like, you know, four steps on the treadmill is enough and now I want to go fucking get some ice cream or lay in some like fucking shower or something. Just kind of, you know, think about where I went wrong. But no, they, they want you to keep working and, you know, running faster and running. I don't run. Um, you know, they just want you to go up there and you got to break a sweat. Fuck sweating. That's, sweating sucks. I don't want to sweat. If I wanted to sweat, I wouldn't look like this. <laughs> so, uh, basically, uh, my, my real motivation for uh, losing weight in reality is not so I can live longer, you know, from heart conditions and things like that. It's because uh, in the scary movie, the fat guy always dies. And, uh, you know, I don't want to die if I'm in the scary movie. It's never like poetic, it's never beautiful, you know, like he's saving somebody. No, he made a fucking sandwich or something in the kitchen, and he like turned around because he forgot some butter and shit, and he turns back and like, bang, he's dead. He just falls down dead, and that's fucking it. And the only thing beautiful about it was the same knife he just used to make the sandwich. That's it. That's it. Friend gets to, his friend gets to live, he is to die. His friend, not the gay friend, he's dead. He dies. Uh, the whore bitch slut, she's dead. Uh, she, she fucks the jock, and then he dies. And then she dies looking for him, she's stupid. <laughs> Everyone's fucking dying, he dies. And she's like, Paul, this isn't funny, where are you? And then, bleh, and then she's dead. You know, and who, who lives? The fucking pussy that no one likes. The, Thank you. <laughs> I have a phone call. Um, all right, so he 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 lives. You know, all, all the basically it's Hollywood's morality. You know, showing us that the sinners all die, and then the meek get to inherit the uh, sequel. And uh, that's uh, basically my time. So I'm gonna get the hell out of here. Yeah!